well, when the, when the log line came through of like Weird Al biopic, I was like, okay, there's more. There seems like there are people that certainly look more like Al than me. And then I started reading the scripts, and I was like, ah, it doesn't matter. We're doing something different. <laughs> Daniel, you must have been over the moon to do a movie where you could have your real hair. I know, finally. It's, yeah, wearing this wig is no really, more really... No straighteners. Oh, yeah. this, every day I get up so early. No, it's it's uh, it's a very, very good look. I wish that my hair did that in real life if I grew it long, but it it, it does not. It just it's quite a beautiful wig. What, what was the first thing you did when you first put that wig on? Um... <laughs> I think it was pick up the accordion and then start playing that. It was uh, it was a full. I was like, let's test the whole look. It was funny because they sent um, on the last day of the shoot, production sent like a behind the scenes EPK crew to be like, we're gonna film the transformation, and we're like, I, I, I've already got the moustache. It's a basic male makeup, and yeah. then we put a wig on, and that's <laughs> it. Um, so they they came and you could tell the guys with the crew were like, oh oh right okay well that's it then. Um, Daniel with yeah. a sock on his head. <laughs> right yeah. that's that's it. Yeah because I've heard actors say you know when they play. Batman or whatever, you put the suit on and then the character comes. I, I feel like, you know, that a simple wig and accordion is not going to take over you. No, Although perhaps the with the way. Madonna outfit. I mean, yeah, yeah, honestly, like, I feel like that's probably a lot more... That takes like, over. Yeah. That takes over. And, and, I mean, I've said this before, but people treat you like Madonna when you're dressed like Madonna. People would visibly get nervous on set. When I was called to set, it was Madonna's on her way, Madonna is here, Madonna's in her chair, and I just loved every minute of it. Yeah, that is cool. Uh -huh. This must be kind of like a dream acting role um, for you, Dan, in particular, because it's you got comedy, you got drama, you've got hand-to-hand -hand combat, yeah. action, <laughs> singing. Musical I numbers, mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, every day on set must have been truly mental. It, it was. It, every day was was very very busy, but there was something about like I love doing a job where I'm I'm having to like pull from everything that I like the stunt stuff that I learned on Potter or the dance stuff from the musical or whatever. It, like it did feel like everything was sort of being utilized, and that made it a very sort of satisfying thing to do. It was a very very fast. I still don't know somehow it was that fast without it being rushed. And I think that's like that's just Eric and, and all the crew being amazingly well prepared. In terms of the fact that it's obviously like a rock biopic, were there any particular real world rock stars apart from Weird Al that you sort of drew from to get that kind of hardcore edge? Um, I mean, I think there's obviously there's the moment uh, where we're doing a pretty direct um, Jim Morrison thing, mm -hmm. and so like I listened to that um, the real audio of which is truly crazy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> right, because that's based on a real yeah, it's based sort on of a, like a rant, rant that where Jim Morrison on. started called saying like you're all a bunch of slaves to the, to audience. the audience. Yeah, wow, it was, yeah. It's, it's really intense. Like I was just trying to like embody Al, but like like a hard drinking, like much more uh, yeah, much more hardcore version, I guess. But yeah. the Johnny Cash but, version. Right, yeah. <laughs> We well, did a wonderful job. I mean, it was Thank it was you. fully believable. You, know, you don't sing in the film. They you know they dub you over with Al's yeah. voice. Was that always the plan, or was there maybe a thought that you'd you'd give it a go? No, it was always. The, I think they very much wanted the thing of like my voice, like Al's voice coming out of my face, and how both. And also, I think there's an element of like people would rather hear like I would rather hear Al sing those songs, but also. It's just, there's something really funny about it coming out of my head. I so Every time, the, the first moment of me seeing my bologna still like makes me laugh every time. <laughs> <laughs> Who my little hungry one, hungry one, open up a package of my bologna. Dude, I've got chills. Now, Madonna is actually working on a biopic at the moment. Yes. We have to ask, after this film, is it really necessary? <laughs> the story, I feel, has been told. It's been told pretty definitively in this film. Like, do, do we need it, Evan? That's so funny. I, well, I did tell Eric, the director, when they asked me to do it, you know, we were sort of speaking about, like, the tone of the film and, like, well, you know, these are sort of, like, heightened versions of the real people. It's not exactly, you know, supposed to be Madonna as we know her and I was like just so you know I know this is a comedy but I am going to give you my best Madonna like I'm going to fully commit to this I'm going to study her for two months and I did I didn't go to a boot camp though and I and I hear some of the other Madonnas have to like go through a very intense training process like a Madonna a Madonna basic boot training camp. yeah well, there was I think that's the there that's, was, that's yeah. the, I believe it was rumored at least but like for the casting of Madonna's biopic that, yeah. that she got a few young actresses to come and stay with her and put them through like a boot camp to uh -huh. wow so it's I, a normal thing 
into I got off the, easy. Uh, actually, we should rewind and just ask, how did you end up playing these roles in the first place? Um, I got uh, I got this the script and was um, initially confused, but then well, when the, when the logline came through of like Weird Al biopic, I was like, okay, there's more. There seems like there are people that certainly look more like Al than me, um, and then. I started reading the script and I was like, ah, it doesn't matter. We're doing something different. <laughs> um, and that was, you know, incredible. And as soon as I read the script and then spoke to Eric and Al and they were so lovely and had written this great script, it was very, like, it was very easy to say yes to. I had done a couple of things for Funny or Die. And so I, I knew, you know, some of the people working there. And then I think because of that, they just reached out to me and I opened up an email and just said, you've been offered the role of Madonna. And I just burst out laughing. And then it was one of the the scripts that when you read it, it was, you were laughing out loud reading the script. Like it was funny on the page. And so I just knew that we were going to be golden. There's some very funny people in this film. There's so many cameos. No spoilers, obviously, but you know, there's that scene at the pool party where it's just like, who's who of funny <laughs> people. I imagine there must have been a lot of like, maybe stuff left on the cutting room floor of people kind of messing around. Or was it quite tight, the whole thing? It really wasn't. Yeah, it was such a tight shoot and we had so little time and particularly like that day, like on any normal shoot, that party scene would be at least a, it would be your whole day. Yeah. We only had, I think it was like half a day for us that we had to shoot it. So like there was no time really for anyone to come in and do bits or anything. <laughs> like it was very, it was very focused on, on what we needed. I think there was all, because everyone was coming in for Al and everyone's so in love with Al, it, it wasn't like comedians trying to out comedian each other. That was not the vibe on set that day. It was just a very like, hey, let's, isn't this fun? We're all here to do this crazy scene. Although yeah, I was genuinely worried. Like if something terrible happens here today, we lose. Yeah. Uh, if you drop comedy. a bomb on that house, then yeah. comedy goes is in real trouble. Yeah. yeah, it's like the comedy state of the union, isn't it? It's quite, it's quite right. A yeah, we need yes. we need a designated survivor. Yes. <laughs> 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 Well, Daniel, and I'll, I'll call you Madonna because that seems to be kind of who, who you are <laughs> now. The film is wonderful. Lovely to speak to you. Have a great day. Thank you very much, Matrix. Have a good one. 